Hey guys, so I'm cooking breakfast. I'm just gonna talk a little bit while I do it. We got these, this huge thing of potatoes from a family that goes to our church. And I think some of the coolest thing is about using like vegetables that aren't from the store but are from a garden is that you get to see like what real food looks like. But the ones I cut up were like all wrinkled and like one was really, really funny shaped. And like like when you buy vegetables, they just like they don't take any of the, the, the real ones. Or like the ones that don't look like the standard that everyone wants. They take them and like get rid of them. That's one time I was volunteering at a food bank. And we sorted through like all the rejected potatoes and I think we did onions and potatoes. There might have been more. But like they they told us that, like these aren't going to be like the ones you see in the store. They're different. They're just the rejected ones. It looks really sad to me that it, I mean it's cool that hundreds of thousands of people get fed off what the stores reject. But the fact that like grocery stores can only sell like perfect things is kinda of sad. <laughs> this is what it looks like, but it cooks down a lot. Tomatoes, I'm gonna add pepper. I ground it already. I think that's all that's left. I'm just gonna dump it. I'm gonna add some. This is, uh, it says cayenne pepper, but it's actually like Indian pepper. It's a, uh, I don't really know the difference, but it's a little bit spicier and a little bit different flavored. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. Uh, not a lot. Well, I like a lot of salt because I learned how to cook for my Indian friends in large part, and one of them uses a lot of salt. I'm gonna stir it, and then the next time you'll see it is probably the finished thing. So, cool, bye. So this is gonna be the filling for my burrito. I'm just gonna make one today, but it'll make, it'll probably last. I made a lot, so the, I made two, my potatoes are going bad. They're getting soft, not bad yet. And so this will probably be like four days worth. I don't actually know. See if my husband has some over the weekend. But, um, yep. Cool, so here is a sample of a homemade pizza. I use pita for the crust because it's easy and really, really good. I have garlic and corn and then cheese, and then I put more garlic on top. You can see my spices and the oregano, and it's done! Yay! So one of my favorite things to do that is like creative is cooking. And so I'm gonna, this is what I'm cooking. It's asparagus with olive oil and salt and pepper and a little bit of Parmesan cheese, like this kind, sprinkled on top. You usually want the other kind, but I don't have it. So that's what I'm doing for dinner. I think I'm gonna turn them into open face sandwiches. So I'll put these on top of mozzarella cheese on top of bread and have that for dinner. And then we'll have like the just asparagus for leftovers later on in the week. So this is my sandwich as soon as the cheese melts. Uh, I told you the recipe a little bit. I also added garlic and lemon juice to it, so we'll see. I think it should be good. So since you guys watch my vlogs, your special, and I'm showing you the fails, um, it should be pretty good. This is the picture I would post on Facebook with the recipe. This is the part I would not post on Facebook, is the burnt bottom.